I had a ticket for West Ham tonight and I cannot believe I've had to give it up, but I've given it up for a good cause. I wouldn't have given it up for any other reason other than to do tonight. You do have to be mad to be a keeper um, because football's a team game until the goalkeeper makes a mistake and then it becomes an individual sport. So if I or a goalkeeper lets in a softie, they get slated, yet a centre forward can miss from two yards and everyone goes unlucky. It's down to the coaching. I never got coached as a goalkeeper until I started playing for England and that was I was 25 years of age. So up until that, I just had to go with natural talent and what I saw off the telly. Um, if you can get them young and coach them correctly, then you'll see a massive improvement. I felt I was born 20 years too early. Um, you know, the opportunity I had in Canada was amazing. Um, and the amount of investment the FA put into the World Cup, I expected them to get a medal. Not only has the FA put into it, but clubs have put into it as well, and the effort the girls have put in. So to come away with a bronze was, was fantastic. I think social media has been massive for women's football, absolutely massive, um, TV as well. Um, events like this, I think it's good because, you know, people only see me as, or know me as mouthy, gobby, swears, but there is a soft side to me. You know, at the end of the day, I play football, I play football to win. I didn't, you know, yeah, there was a fun element in it, but I play to win. Um, and off the pitch, even players that um, didn't know me before they come and join the clubs I play for, at training, they'll go, do you know what, you're not as bad as what people think you are. Since I retired nine years ago, the, gr the game has grown beyond anything I expected in terms of the money now pumped into the women's game. The players, they're pro now, they don't have to work. Yet when I was playing, you had to work and fit in football around work. Social media has been massive uh, and that has helped the players. Going pro has helped the England team, uh, has helped encourage pro clubs to put money into the game. Man City is a massive example. They've got a bottomless pit of money. Um, Chelsea have put money into the game now. Arsenal have always been the forefront of women's football. Um, but, you know, a lot of clubs are now following suit and, and the money's just blown the women's game out of the water. I just hope the money doesn't ruin the women's game. Um, I don't have any memories of playing against Kelly Smith other than the unbelievable goals that she's used to score against me. Um, no, I think Kelly's an unbelievable talent. She is the best player ever to play for England. And uh, other than Farrah Williams, who I think is on, you know, the same sort of wavelength as Kelly, there will never be another Kelly Smith in this country.